Right, hello everybody, welcome to the second round match between Trific and Velohopia. Velohopia won a bit of a crazy match where he got out bashed to death by um, by Dio, but then Dio made a bit of a mistake. And then Veli lost, uh, won on kicks despite having a disadvantage. Um, so this is interesting, the Claws versus the Dwarves. Obviously you would fancy the Claws to win this. Um, but if their Claw doesn't fire, they're going to struggle, aren't they? Um, that, is the, that is the issue with taking a Claw team. If the Claw doesn't fire, then <laughs> you know the Dwarves will have all of their guard and stuff online and armour. Gonna pile on you? I guess he can't get fouled. So we'll pile even even against armor nine. <laughs> I mean I guess he technically could foul him, but he's not gonna lose. I guess that's what he's thinking. He's thinking he's not gonna. I hate these bloody credits going all the time. Can't blitz with his troll slayer, can he? I mean, he could. He could blitz this guy with a troll slayer. But then he wouldn't be a blip blocking this guy. But then he hasn't got any kill skills. So maybe he will just blitz this guy so he can pop him. I think he probably will, actually. Oh, he's going for this, relying on Dalton for the second hit. And I'm a 9. But a good target. Very bad if you get pushes against him. That was a problem. I think going for this guy would have been better. First knee. Personally? You just get to kind of put a bit of semi pressure on the ball this way, but mm. the balls are so slow that they're not really putting a lot of pressure on the ball. Are they? Also, basing his pommer with your sole runner <laughs> from try there is a bit. That is something, isn't it? I wonder if Veli will be able to punish him for this. Nope, he's just going for a pom on him. Oh. Claw pumping him? Interesting. Okay, he gets the cast. But um, he could have just punched him, couldn't he? He could have just punched him with a skillless punch. And then blitzed an armor 9 guy with claw pom, but he blitzed him. I guess now he gets to reposition the, the guard. Um, but it was only a badly hurt, and he uses Apple, obviously. And, it, you know, he did need the claw mighty to do it, but still. <laughs> did I even get one for it? I've got no idea, Dr. Bosco. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I said they were all going to be claws. Which, they were. <laughs> How are super VIP Vulpies in Coulter? Um, I'm really tired, but... um. All right, thanks. <laughs> Seeing as I'm not having to play myself, it's all right that I'm fucking shattered. I don't know about super dicings. No, no, I guess not super dicings. But the, the you know, obviously, someone's going to have the better dice in each game, and the guy with the better dice is probably going to win. <laughs> that is pretty much, <laughs> you know, because people are good enough that. The games are going to be close with even dice, aren't they? Unless someone makes a really crazy player like Dios. Um, and Shawnee's, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, I bet, I, bet, I bet on PC. That's at least one that won. <laughs> 
That's at least one I got right. Try, I'm sure. I'm sure I would have favoured try to win as well. Well, I think the dice map matter. I mean, you know, in that game, in that game, Dio lost because he made a terrible play. <laughs> Is ultimately why uh, why Velopi had a chance to be in, um, and he he had did have the better. Like that's funny because that is against. It's funny enough, Velopi, because what he's saying it happened the other way around in that game. Uh, Dio had the better dice. And just made a horrible, horrible mistake. And that's why he lost. Um, so. It's just, it's just a funny old game, isn't it? At the end of the day, like, it's not like. It's not like, you know. Try is way better than Velahoppy, or Velahoppy is way better than Try, you know? So, yeah, I know what you're saying, yeah, I know what you're saying. But, um. But you know, so you know what I mean? So chances are whoever's lucky is gonna win. Even though obviously terrible players and big mistakes can swing it and big dice rolls can swing it as well. There's lots of things that can swing the individual games. But you know Let's yeah, the team building is part of it, yeah. For sure. For sure I, I think the team building is where Dio excels. In particular, but you know, if you would expect over, like, no one's gonna have a super high win rate. You would expect over a thousand games in Blitz Pit just because the quality is quite high. So if you would say that you know, Vela Hoppier would be, no offense to either coach, if you would say Vela Hoppier would be a, a sixty percent coach and try and be a sixty five percent coach for argument's sake, um. I still think in the individual match against each other, the dice is probably still going to be the biggest deciding factor. If you see what I mean. Even though it's certainly possible over multiple tournaments for people to have better win rates and to people to be proven better. Exactly, yeah, it's such a small sample size. Yeah, KVP. 60% coach isn't that good, but it's pretty good in Blitz Pit, right? <laughs> and 60% coaches aren't shitters, but 60% coaches... 60% in CCL isn't so good. Um, it's not a shitter, but it isn't so good. It doesn't make you think, holy shit, he's really good. If you see a 60% win rate. You may play somebody and think, holy shit, he's really good. And they may have a 60% win rate. But seeing a 60% win rate doesn't immediately make you think, oh my god, this guy's amazing. Whereas 60% um, is, you know, it would be pretty good in Blitzbit just because there's nobody bad to beat up on, is there? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Wolfbath, yeah. <laughs> well, that's Artemis, isn't it? <laughs> He's never been the most uh, stable of <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, the small sample size is is just huge, you know. Like Ducky's won, Ducky's won CCL like three times or whatever, hasn't he? And, Crucifer's probably won it three times, but even then there's still small sample sizes, aren't they, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Wolfbart, yeah, is that aspect of it as well, yeah. Yeah. And then there's the draw, is there's a look at the draw and everything as well. Yeah, that's true. 
I just, I, like, you know, I think... <laughs> all I'm saying is... I'm not saying it's all just luck, but I'm saying, you know, that luck is going to be... Blood Bowl, there's enough luck in Blood Bowl that it, you know, yeah. Alright, I'll stop now. <laughs> I just done well if I hadn't fucking lost, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd win every game if I didn't lose. I do think it's a good format, like it's not a knock on the format, that's what I was trying to say as well. It's not a knock on the format or anything. Or any Blood Bowl format. It's just, it's, I guess it's a knock on Blood Bowl, isn't it? Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Right? Uh, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want a base to give him more hits, but then trading a blitz each isn't very nice for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If it was a ten-game round robin, that'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Let's get let's get Gdanik to make it a league. Sixteen players. Play everybody twice. Thirty game season. <laughs> let's fucking go. Res. <laughs> Everyone has the same team. See who's the fucking best. And even then that would still be too small a sample size to say who was the best. <laughs> Wouldn't it? You know? And that would still be Whoever was the luckiest would probably be, but you know, would probably win. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it would be a, the race to avoid the wooden spoon. We could call it the wooden spoon championships. <laughs> we could call it the wooden spoon championships, and the only thing it proves is whoever's last isn't the best. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of Ricky Bobby. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you're last, you're not the best. <laughs> I mean, see, this is the this is the bollocks about guard, right? Guard doesn't fucking help, really, does it? Because against Corpon, because he's got oh, I've got three guard. All right, well done, mate. I just stick in fucking three guys here and two do him anyway. Didn't even need any guard to get to escape the so-called guard lock. I do hate how people act like guard is some amazing counter to claw palm. It's really not. <laughs> Their claw palm not firing is the is the counter to claw palm. Pretty much. And like making multiple removals, so they can't get assists at all. And then having guards really good, and then having diamond tackles really good, and then having stand firms really good. But I think you've got to be winning the bash war first for them to be good things. I would have just blitzed with the claw on there. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe he just wants to keep him down as a threat there, and you know, and, and keep him keeping him as a threat that uh, that try has to like you know dedicate people to or let him get you. Yeah, exactly, Sky Tower, yeah. And even Orcs. Oh, he's just going to stand him up. Oh, he's just going to dodge away. <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay. Ooh, that's harsh. Poor old, poor old Shawnee. Yeah. No, yeah, it does. I mean, you know, I'm not saying, like, it's totally... Again, I'm not, I'm not saying it's, like, totally without merit, say... <laughs> You know, God help, but it's like people act like it's the be all and some people act like it's the be all and end all of the game, and it's really not, is it? It's Claw is just so powerful against dwarves and orcs. Yeah, informative, yeah. Sorry, I mean, I am really tired, so if I, if I overreact or anything. <laughs> I apologise. I'm not. I'm not trying to have arguments with anybody. I'm not. Fucking Volpe's had the wall caps me. I wasn't. 
<laughs> In my defense, I am tired. <laughs> I'm not trying to just be an argumentative twat. Um, just is what it is. Really. It's just, I just am. <laughs> I don't need to try. I just am. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, he's greeting it. Try getting desperate. Would have been relying on Dauntless in the second hit. Again, going after the, the Armor 9 characters. Curl palm can blitz if he wants. What he'd like to do is blitz him, but uh, he can't really, can he? One, two, three, four, five, and then he could chain him into the claw palm hit. Would be a nice thing to do, but he probably won't. He'd probably just get the ball forward, right? Yeah, there's only three turns. Getting the, concentrating on getting the ball forward and like doing a block blitz is better, isn't it? He might might not even claw palm him. He could he could not claw palm him, but I guess you can put the guard in first. There. So that even if you double skull this, it's still good. I think I would just blitz, even though you've got a block on. TBH. And then he can go there. Afterwards. That's why I'd want the reroll on the block. From the curb palm. Curb palm would have uh, broken AV just quietly. Because now you're probably just going to have to sh screen with him, right? Probably just going to have to protect the ball with him, whereas he could have blitzed with him and then protected the ball with him. I think it would have been better. Still got a blitz, though. Don't know what he's going to do with it. Dodge him away to there. And then blitz him with him, maybe. It's good that I can still think to, uh, to to commentate on the Blood Bowl, even though I wouldn't be very confident of playing right now. Booty <laughs> <laughs> night, but the L Mangle, that's a bit strong. <laughs> Is he going to double GFI to hit with Pom? I think he probably is. Oh, but then he hasn't got the East Cup guard there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, GFI. <laughs> he's going to do it. He's, he's gone for the triple G. He was going for the triple GFI serve. Wasn't even a serve, just a hit, wasn't it? One, two, yeah, triple, GF, triple GFI, Pom hit. <laughs> he got a skull. Wow. Well, that was pretty big payoff for uh, for Veli there. Not 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 making that blitz and piling. It just gets him a gets him a surf and a claw palm hit. <laughs> He's pretty happy. I mean, a double surf he could do, couldn't he? But he probably just takes the claw palm rather than a surf. I don't know. I guess he just surfs them both. Ooh, Plim Plum Plu, Vasis Das, why not just surf them both? Could have put him in, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, surf them both, Bosh, he's caring about, he's protecting the ball. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking protecting the ball? Get out of town. What is this shit? <laughs> Doesn't he know that you've got to lose the game just to try and get a surf in? Ah, 
Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't. He talks about curries, doesn't he? Oh, he could have won the game. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't hate. I, you know, I was just saying it's funny that he's going for the triple GFI to two D M, because it it just shows how fucking important Kerpom is, doesn't it? Kerpom. I've got no idea. It might have been the game. I didn't hear a weird noise, to be honest. Oh, he blitzed to get the 2D. Do you know what, Backdoor Billy? It's, it's, a, it's a shame that Clavius has taken the big ears niche. <laughs> because <laughs> I feel like you should have, like, Dumbo ears. <laughs> as soon as you catch every fart. And every weird noise in the background. Every, every strips a laugh. Sometimes hear the screams from the basement. Oh shit! I'm really gonna have to make that soundproof, aren't I? What's the play here? Four, four, three, and one D. I'll just be more sensible. Oh, that's a shame, C Sams. <laughs> <laughs> Poor him. You don't want to, you don't do anything because it's your only runner. Again, this is why I preferred a PC setup having two runners. I didn't like the one runner setups. Because you don't want to risk him on on this on this turn. Oh, you got to surf him. You got to like he's tempting you with it, but you've got to take it, haven't you? You've got a reroll to 1 in 81. You've got to go for this. You have to go for this, sir. 100%. Oh, I didn't! As if he didn't go for that! Oh, and he graded it and nearly got a triple school. <laughs> Can't believe he didn't go for that, honestly. Like, guaranteed injury on a runner. That's brilliant. On the runner. I mean, okay, you're hitting without block. But in the end, the reroll. What was the reroll? We're still we're still better odds than um, a full 2D, wasn't it? Actually, a 3D with block is safer than 4D without. Isn't it one in 81 versus 36 times six? So, fair enough. His play was still safer than doing one. But I don't know. I think you risk the one in 81 when he's only got the one runner. And he's already taken the cars, hasn't he? He's taken the cars, his apple's gone. I would have made I would have gone for that surf every every time there, I think. I think I think it was definitely right to go for the Yeah. So even even the three D with block without a reroll is better than a two D without block with a reroll. Twice as good. Twice as safe. So it it, it did mean that he was able to, to greed it. And it was claw mighty, which is good. But I think I think he had to go for the uh like the run is so valuable in it. If he doesn't have a runner on his offense, he's just gonna struggle so much more than if he loses a guard dude. Ce 
plaindra de la météo. Yeah, good luck, guys. Huh? It was crazy. I think it was crazy that he took the tackle. I think he should have had four guard. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. Ce joueur se passe comme une fiante de snuffing. Oh. Oh, Kyle. Very surprised. Yeah, well, he's hired him winning that. Easily. This is a little bit interesting now, isn't it? Because Try will at least now be on the front foot and he will have Pommers to do some dirty work. And he could start men up here. He could start the half men up and he'll have, like, he's got the LOS as well. Hasn't he? Although he lost his, his uh, apple, he's still got 11 men. And he's still got his lone runner. <laughs> so he's probably not gonna he's probably not gonna start with a man advantage. It's probably gonna be eleven v eleven. But yeah, he's gonna have two palm hits, isn't he? Almost certainly knockdowns with a frenzy is about 90% isn't he can knock down um, defenseless players with only two dice. Beast men come back so it is 11 versus 11 for the second half. I didn't vote these no. Oh, have you got a link? <laughs> I like Rebel, even though people think that I hate it. I do like it. It's just there's some, um, you know, it's just because it's not perfect and stuff. Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> <laughs> Big guy was amazing. Forgot the stab. Oh man. Oh man, he doesn't use stab all match. That could happen with uh, Zara, to be fair. Oh, that's pretty good. Chunt the sack. <laughs> <laughs> Two red dices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. How do I? How do I enter? Do I just ask to be entered? Do you make it yourself? No, it's, yeah, it's just generated. Yeah. Yeah. Quelqu'un pour taper le carton. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, that's pretty great, yeah. Oh, blots. Oh, well. Try won't start on the front foot. And won't be making two pom blocks on the LOS because he put one behind the LOS. Interesting. Are we kind of not like blitzing with our. Uh, Troll slurs in that case because it leaves them isolated if they don't get knockdowns and surrounded if they do. Oh, that's incredible, Volpies. <laughs> Blitz pit is double elimination, but this is this this is and this is the winner's bracket. So whoever loses isn't out with these two. Blood Bowl. 
<laughs> well, um, Unseen Walker would think you were wrong, Jorzus. <laughs> I think it's fine. VIP Joe's on him. I'm sorry. I haven't done the thing. Why am I whispering? VIP Joe's is death. Oh, you just want Joe's that's Jesus, don't you? I'm gonna have to do that sometime. Well, they've got Frenzy, <laughs> and they're, they're slightly faster, and they've got Dauntless, which, you, you know, is kind of nice, um, and you can give them Pom, which is nice. I wouldn't have two. I don't really like two here. I would rather not have two. I'd have rather had one Troll Slayer and with Pom and, you know, two... Two mighty blow guards. Right, <laughs> Joss is Jesus. <laughs> hey, Le Double Skulls. Instant reroll. Instant nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had to, yeah. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. Good. <laughs> oh, man. Random boy's already won, has he won his second game already? Oh, I guess if they didn't go to overtime, then they could have started a lot earlier, couldn't they? Hello, Jelly Deals. Oh, yeah, I don't know why it didn't work, eh? Hello, Ian Jelly Deals. <laughs> it doesn't prove anything, no. That's it, that's it. exactly it, isn't it? It doesn't prove anything. Fort Man High Elf team. Oh, well, good luck. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's only 1M on the Swim Gym. That's fine. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. I, I, didn't, I didn't like, didn't like oh. Sean's team, to be fair. I didn't like Sean's team. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not again. <laughs> it's like <laughs> there are lots of um, there's lots of uh, dice, isn't there? But I still didn't like his team. <laughs> not saying that he lost because of his team or anything, but I didn't like his team. Yeah, I thought Random Boy got like basically his worst matchup in the first round against Wood Elves because 
you know, against these teams that just cage, they're under a lot of pressure to cage properly in a minute, aren't they? Um, you know, and obviously dwarves are low strength. Kemri are really bad ball handlers. Chaos are just lacking skills apart from kill skills. So it's like it's a pretty good. Um, <laughs> But it is, t it is tough against vamps in a minute, to be fair. A lot was made of people saying it's hard to play vamps in a minute, but it's also hard to play against vamps in a minute, isn't it? But I think it's going to be much harder for the uh, for the bashy teams than for the elf teams. And they're all bashy apart from like two elves and Sean is out. <laughs> and he's already beaten Olivier de Lac. So, he could definitely win the whole thing now, I remember. Sure. Well, obviously he could always could have done. But um, he might even be favoured to now. Tony's out. Ripperoni. I'd have rather gone Underworld than fucking <laughs> Pro Elves. Yeah, it's it's getting tough for him now, isn't it? Try he's down then, I believe. He'd kill a guy, didn't he? But no, it's equal then. It's ten aside. The chaos are faster and more strength, aren't they? So towards a slow. He's still got the ball back there after two turns. Strength four blitzes wherever they want. Means that you can't really potato. Yeah, his teams. Fucked. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to say real nice. <laughs> but you said he was your second favourite or something. I wouldn't put it that high. Mostly it was this matchup, but I didn't like the matchup against Elves. I guess was the biggest thing for me. Like regardless of number of players or anything. This is careless from uh, Valley, wasn't it? Given a circle to you. And a hit on him. He's been killed. Power up? Yeah. I feel like you could have played that better that turn. But he didn't put like a boatload of pressure on, did he? I guess he is kind of keeping him pinned back for another turn. And he just has to stop the score. Losing a player to do it doesn't seem good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe I just overestimate Wood Elves in general rather than actually looking at the team. I don't know. It's funny that even in a format that doesn't favour elves, wood elves, they're still good aren't they, wood elves, even when they're in like the highest possible tier and people are getting loads of stuff against like that they're not, they're still, you can still just make a really good wood elf team. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, two DM. That seems pretty stupid. <laughs> 
because you don't really want to use a reroll on it. And you'd be giving up a good blitz to do it. He could have pushed him into there, didn't, couldn't he? Whoa, it was, that must have been a misclick. Surely that was a misclick, because he could have just pushed him into a... into a pawn block. It's looking like it's tough for Veli now, doesn't it? It, it? it was... I think he blew it a bit that turn. I wonder if he's going to blitz the uh, Troll Slayer, and that's why he didn't do that. He's going to blitz the Troll Slayer with Pom. No. No, he's going for the 3-2-2 dice. Two, two I mean, this just this just holds him up a turn at best, really, doesn't it? I guess at best he has him. But, um... Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone. So he could have just come in there and blitzed him. But, um, because at best that just delays him for a turn. As he, as he power, he power him and then he picks it up and then he's still in the same place. It's not that good, whereas best case, this fucks his troll slayer. <laughs> Who's about to fuck your warrior? <laughs> And now, try as his team back together on turn 12. Caging up in the middle of the field. And it's now Veli's team that's all out of position as he's got th three players over here and one all the way back there. There is a long way to go, but... Compared to two turns ago, it's actually looking pretty great for try now. At least from a making it 1 1 perspective. Pile down there, that was a bit of a greedy pile on, wasn't it? Because that stops him getting two dice on the claw mighty. Maybe he got the stun though, hadn't he? So I can see why he piled on. But maybe, maybe he shouldn't have. Gets a 1D power anyway. <laughs> and then he scores. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it just because, like, if it if it hadn't stopped him getting the two dice, fair enough. But when it was stopping him getting the two dice, then I thought that was deserved KO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can understand it. But I mean, it gives you the chance of just rolling a skull on against the claw mighty that you can't re-roll. And re that really shits on you then. That you're really in a world of hurt if you roll a skull there. And you can't really re-roll it. But yeah, I mean, it is just a gamble in it, obviously. You can see both sides of it, can't you? And make your own mind up. I'm certainly not saying he was he was wrong. And an idiot, and I was right, and a genius. <laughs> Just is what it is. <laughs> yeah, random boy. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm wrong though. It it could just mean you played great, or your opponents played shit, or. You were super lucky, or they were super unlucky, <laughs> or they had a worse team, like maybe they'd taken jump up and four catches on a Wood Elf team. There's lots of, <laughs> there's lots of possibilities. 
No, I mean vampire. At the end of the day, like it, it's it's obviously tough to play vampires with one minute, but it is tough to play against vampires with one minute. And if you think everyone's going to go bash teams, which they mostly did, then vampires look better. It was mostly just the matchup against elves being in the first round is what I didn't like about it. But it is, yeah, they are fine against teams that cage, but woodies don't cage, so. Greed. Greed from try there, wasn't it? Was, oh, the first, first bottles are both down, but he had another block there anyway. I guess he's got to get forward with only four turns. Yeah, and he doesn't have much protection, does he? That's the thing, isn't it? It's bloody beastmen with strength four. And he's got this one behind his line, so he's got to protect the ball from both sides as well, hasn't he? Yeah, I guess he probably did need the knockdown there. Certainly felt like he needed the knockdown. Probably did need it. Won't be playing die all of you, random boy. He's one two. Die lost his first one. Until they finally won't be playing him. Blood Bowl, ça veut dire tu fais deux cents. C'est pas pour rien. Chiggy V Brick. But yeah, I mean, it is, it's good against all the bash teams, isn't it? Thumbs are good against all bash teams, really. Especially when you've only got a minute to protect against them. When you've, <laughs> when you've only got a minute to protect yourself from the gays. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously random boy has played a lot with vamps very experienced so it's not as much of a disadvantage for him having a minute <laughs> yes it is isn't it yes Sean, you've only got a minute to, you know, like that's the thing, right? You, you've got a minute to protect your balls from the gays, but he's only got a minute to think about the ball sack as well. Um, but yeah. Yeah, me too, Jelly. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> like it's much easier to look at, look at occasion and think, I've just got the gears, these two, and then I can hit the ball. Than it is to think, right, how do I set it up so that he can't hit the ball? <laughs> and how do I make the gears as hard on everything? I think it is harder. I think it is harder to play against them, yeah. I agree. And then, yeah, with having 15 men. It's a bit like, <laughs> yeah, just pile on as much problem. With, with like, elves have that aspect of it's hard to defend the ball against elves, but if they, if they run out of time and stuff, they struggle and get the whole team removed in one turn, whereas that doesn't happen when you've got 15 vampires, does it? 15, like a 15 round vampire team. You haven't got the same, same kind of thing, especially with it being overtime as well. And think, you know, reading the meta and thinking, thinking there won't be a lot of elves increases the value of vamps as well. No, he's not having a lot of luck, is he? Trying, not having a lot of luck. 
I think uh, Veli just wants to get back here as far as possible and then you know stop a stop a potato breakaway. I mean, he could hit the ball, couldn't he? It's not. It's really easy to hit the ball. Super easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double G if I had to hit the ball. Um, but I think it might be better to just try and get people back. You know, he could blitz. He could go back. He could go back. He can go back. And then how does how does try break through? Very with great difficulty. Yeah, I think so, Jalil. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think maybe just get get people back. It could be the way. Not even blitzing with claw mighty. Outrageous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not even base it and just get just get men back in it, men back and cover a breakaway. Yeah, this is safer than even I would have played it. I would have at least I would have blitzed with the uh, claw mighty or with the claw palm. And this is this is this was hyper safe, wasn't it? Uh, blitzing with a guard there. Uh, yeah, this now this is really horrible for try, isn't it? And this is the thing, you know. This was this was like the prediction of earlier when he was back here was the thing of how does he get forward enough to not have to make a breakaway against the strength four guy chasing him down. Yeah, very nice turn from Velhoffka there, I think. Very nice. Oh. What Tri could do is he could, uh, <laughs> he could uh, score with him, right? He still can't get away. That's his best bet. Double GFI, blitz with him, run over there, and pass it to him. <laughs> He's just not having any luck as he tried. <laughs> Man, he could have still pushed him to there, he could have still powered him to there, so he had the, this route through. That was, there was no need to push to here. He could have powered into there, right? Okay, it gives him a three plus. Dodge into a four plus, but. Yeah, there was no need for this three plus. Even though he had a bit of bad luck before that, you know. He's pretty much only had bad luck in this game. Also, he should have not run out of time and dodged with him and based. That would have been all right, wouldn't it? And then he could have dodged and based. So he could have, he could have dodged GFI based, and he could have dodged double dodged based, and then <laughs> at least this potato was better than a was better than the Shawnee potato. The Shawnee potato is the is the worst of our times. <laughs> That was horrific. <laughs> Poor old Shawnee. Had two seconds left. <laughs> move the move the carrier. Didn't have a chance to move anyone else before time ran out. <laughs> it was the biggest potato you've ever seen <laughs> in your life. <laughs> oh, you couldn't move your mouse. Oh, rough. Couldn't you have got him in? One, two, three, four, five. He could have made it three dice. No! He was right there. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Veli, Veli, Veli. I mean, okay, this is still basically impossible. Oh, he's marked. He's marked. He couldn't have done that. He was marked. How did we not know he was marked, Veli? <laughs> Jelly up. How did we not know he was marked? <laughs> These fucking dwarves are short, aren't they? <laughs> uh.
Oh, well, that would have been horrible. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was, Jellyl. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he gets to clear him out. I don't know. Not that it matters, does it? Oh, can he go this way? Oh, he can go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, huge. Oh, wowee. He is out of rerolls, though. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. He needs to win the toss, I think, not have a chance, though. Three, six, eight players versus a full 11 still. Potato, not, it didn't work for Sean even. <laughs> it kind of did in the end, he still scored on turn eight. So arguably it did work for Shawnee as well anyway. <laughs> the funniest thing about that was that he still scored on turn eight. <laughs> yeah. It, a tri tit or an uh an a uh oh god I can't remember his name. Who was the World Cup potato? Did it in about three or four games, didn't he? Can't remember his fucking name. Bucky. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna bait. I think he's gonna go for three days with Cormier. And he gets he gets the reroll for overtime. Dirty Dean. Oh no, he gets just gets a second one. Oh well. Not making it three dice. The yikes from me. He could have made that three, couldn't he? Surely. Surely he could have done four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. He could have made that three. Even even with the guard he could have still made it three. And obviously he could have just he could have just changed the order of them. As well. I guess he only had a minute and stuff, but still. Making three days should be second nature for everyone, shouldn't it? Everyone in everyone in Blitz Pit. Should just auto make things three days. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, yeah. I mean I'm shattered now. I can still <laughs> I can still talk shit. <laughs> but uh I'd be, I'm sure I'd be playing crap. <laughs> In fairness, <laughs> I'm sure I'll be playing crap by now. Le prochain round va commencer, et aucun des joueurs KO n'a repris ses esprits. Yeah. It is only the second game, though. It's rough when you've got to play three in a row. When you play three in a row, the third one is horrible. <laughs> I can speak from experience. The third one is. Oof. That's real. Really grueling then when you've got to play the third in a row. Indeed, Jelly Deals. So tries won the toss. He's got eight men versus eleven. I guess he could still score. It's not over. It's not over yet. <laughs> the classic cry of Blood Bowl. It's not over yet. He still has his one dwarf runner. Somehow survived. So it's not, it's not over yet. Could, he genuinely could win, couldn't he? I mean, he could also just make a bunch of removals. Oh, he's going all men's LOS. I like it. Oh, I'm being stupid. He's won the toss, hasn't he? 
It just the game just put me into this view. Oh, this is a done deal. The game just put me into this view. I've, see, I'm fucking knackered. I don't even know who's fucking kicking and receiving. Oh, he's fucked that. <laughs> Stick a fork in him. He's done. If he was receiving against a fucking all men's LOS, he would have still been in a world of hurt. But kicking against a full men's LOS, he is fucked. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? Even with a pommer, I'd still just want to block with a uh, the block guard warrior to just not have to, you know, potentially reroll. Well, like less chance of having to reroll. Yeah, that's what he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably Jellio. <laughs> Oof, try. Yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the third game is really horrible. It really, that really is the worst part. Like, double elimination sounds good and all. And like, you know, and it is good from a certain point, but it's really horrible when you've got to play that third game. It's like... Have both games gone overtime as well for your try or not? You can potentially play three overtime games in a row. It's just brutal. Yeah, honestly, it's like it sounds stupid because there is prize money and everything, and you don't. <laughs> but it, and you don't want to lose, obviously, and you've still got a chance if you win the third game. But it's just so horrible having to play the third game. Yeah, yeah, it's really rough. I can attest to that. Yeah, well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> it's obviously better to go or two than than one two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I've gone one two and one and two, and believe me, it's worse going one and two. Because <laughs> that third game is just hell. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even fucking commentate on the third game. No. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind fucking play it. <laughs> yeah, I think he still he still said he's gonna like cycle it a bit though as well, isn't he, Wolfbart? So it's not like it's not like people are just going to be done on a scrap heap. Um, he did say today Nick say he was going to uh, he was going to like you know keep it fresh by just cycling in bites a bit regardless of the scores. I'm bottom of the list now, I think. On the ELO. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have been invited even if I hadn't asked them to be invited. <laughs> As it happened. No, oh, there you go, call my e. That's the thing, and it? it just kicks in now and, and he's fucked. Down to seven men. <laughs> um, yeah, I know it didn't, but you know, it could have. <laughs> um, yeah, um, what was there? Was something wrong. how did he score? What well, happened? Oh, yeah, he was, uh, Valley over pursued a bit at first, didn't he? 
Um. <laughs> and then, uh, Veli went for like the playing totally safe. Like he had overcommit a little bit, which was, but then it turned out all right in the end because he had a bit of rear pressure, and he kind of went for the. He went for the um, kind of, the kind of safe play, which got what it the safe play got what it fucking deserved. Which was an easy 2D on the ball. But, with 4D, he didn't get the ball loose. And then, uh, try rolled some dice and scored. Could Valley have made it a better defence? Probably. But mostly it was just getting 4 dice on the ball and not popping it. Yeah, watching is. is way. Way easier than playing. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la sanguine. Oh, cheeky removal. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't I don't think Joe I don't think Valley misplayed or anything. I mean, when I said he got what he deserved, I mean he got the two dice on the ball, which is what he deserved from the playing the safe the previous turn, wasn't he? That's what he was looking for. Um, by playing safe that turn. He got a guaranteed 2D on the ball, rather than having to roll dice to get a 2D on the ball. So I like I liked his play. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Should I just give up? <laughs> End the fucking stream. <laughs> I'm shattered, I'm just... <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was no need to be hasty, yeah, and you've only got two re-rolls. I also don't like not blitzing with the, uh, with the claw mighty. But I guess last turn, because he rolled a, a, a 10 plus and a 10 plus, he thought he'd roll 10 and 10 this time, and he did. <laughs> See, he was, he was watching the stream, and <laughs> and he saw Cy Talon say he didn't, Claw Mighty didn't matter that turn. He was like, it doesn't matter. I'll just roll 10 10 again. <laughs> and he did. Oh, thanks, Wolfbar. I am fucking shattered, so I'm not. I'm not on the best, the best form of my life on understanding things. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not good at clear speech. No biggie. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that quote is. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's brutal for trying it. Fucking trip door. <laughs> trip door's incredible. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Wolfies. Yep, I will definitely. Uh, I will definitely do my best. They've got it. They make it kind of easy because they've got a. Uh, They've got a Google Docs, haven't they, with which games are on. So, you know, should, shouldn't miss when there's games on, really. Whereas with CCL, I often miss them. But now, Yak has got... Stream are not supported <laughs> by the Rebel Yak has got an incredible <laughs> initiative now for, um, the Yak, for the ass. 
of uh, he just he he writes them on the ass's website when uh, when the games are scheduled and stuff. And messages people and says anyone up for this game that's happening here and stuff. So that's brilliant. So I, sh I should be do uh, doing more commentary on CCL playoffs now um, or ranked playoffs. I do think this is a bit hasty from Belly, but. Yeah, he's played loads of Blood Bowl and he's probably just getting fucked off with it, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, this is not This is still pretty safe, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-n